Boom. Hola, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I'm a wheel addict. A couple months ago, like two or three months ago, I bought a pair of Anthony Potier flat frames. It's the second edition. I think it's the first one that is actually really made in mass production, meaning that they have a distributor, which is under Universe Skate, the distributor for FR, Seba. Uh, in Europe, they distribute Dam Skates, Intuition, and a couple more brands. And I bought these frames through Click and roll. Okay, here's my type of essence. I usually don't film in this set this way. I usually use the other camera and I try to, to put a little bit more quality into my videos. But the truth is, I was supposed to film with a camera that I usually film this video, but I got to the park and all I had was my 360 camera. I actually had the big camera, I just didn't have the card. So I decided to bring the production level <laughs> down a bit it doesn't really matter you're not watching this to watch the best cameras you're watching this to listen about this frame and this this is the flat ap anthony potier frame but because i know that some of you really like the quality let me give you a little bit of quality images of this amazing frame <laughs> Okay, now you saw the amazing images, now I can show you my skin. <laughs> now, the thing is, I, I got this frame a couple months ago and I'm not gonna lie, I, at first, when I first got it, I was like, wow, it's a bit tall here. At the same time, it is tall, but if you really look at it, you see that there's a lot of age block that you can go through. I didn't skate them a lot of times, but the times that I skated, I could see that they were already getting like a nice groove. And the truth is, I didn't even skate ledges or anything like that. For some reason, for me, skating ledges with a metal frame always feels a bit weird, but that's me. At the same time, that's not a reason for me not to like skating aluminum frames. This is, in fact, 
my fifth one, even if I two of them were the same. So I first got a set of the Solas. This is the Sola. Uh, the, the first one was the Lot 1 that I got robbed. Then I got the Lot 2 in black, which is a 60 millimeters flat frame. Then I got the Ground Control HD 60s. Then I got the Joe Atkinson and finally I got this. So this is my fifth aluminum frame. And the truth is they are all different. But from all of the frames that I had, I would say that this is the most different from all of them. And that's not amazingly good, but that's also not bad. What I'm trying to say here is that it's, it's hard to explain, but I think the easiest way to understand is when you look at Anthony Potier, Anthony Potier is like one of the most technical skaters that I that I know. Like he's amazing. Like he, his skill level on on these frames, it's just it's just amazing. And then when you get the frames, if you're expecting to do that, you probably can. I just for me, I what I love the most about this frame is like how they cruise. And I first thought, yeah, four times 64, they're going to be super, super fast. But I'm going to tell you that to me, these didn't felt faster than the four times 60 from Sol from, from Sola with 58 millimeters um, black pearl wheels. And these are like famous wheels. And the reason for this being, it's because this frame is a bit slanted. It's a bit like the wizard frame. So the 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 heel the back of the frame is a little bit higher than the front so when you skate your foot is not completely flat and there's a little bit of a forward lean so if you have your skates set to have flat frames you're gonna feel like you're leaning a bit forward applying more pressure on the front of the skates and that usually makes you skate a tiny bit slower but of course you can always adjust that by like less shock absorbers or Whatever, you can keep the same, and if you keep the same, yes, you might be a bit slower when you go forward, but you're going to be faster when you go backwards. So it's more about the adjustment. It's, it's amazing. I really like how they feel. And actually, after taking these ones and putting the solo bags, that's probably also one of the reasons why the solo felt actually a bit faster than these, probably because I kept the same adjustments on the, the raise of the heel, and because it was a bit lower on heels, it felt faster. I don't really know. I can tell you that I like how they feel. Now for grinding, I didn't felt like they were slower for top sides as I feel with most of the other aluminum frames. And I don't know how to justify that, which is kind of weird. I don't know if it's because they have thicker grind walls making them more rigid. I don't know if that's the case. But I didn't felt them slower when doing top sides. I don't know if it's as, if it has to do with um, aluminum used. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe because it has a bigger surface uh, touching. I can't justify it. I, I really don't know why, but they didn't felt as slow as some of the other frames that I have. And on the other hand, like if you look at solo like the the strategy that they use to advertise their frames like the marketing strategy is that they have thinner frames and by having thinner frames they are going to create more soul space well when you get this it has much thicker walls but you know what in total they are not wider than the solas because check this out it's very hard to explain but the um, I don't know how to call it the the part of the frame that receives the wheel on the sole as you will see there's like a little bit of an imp like uh, it's it's a much bigger emboss of the wheel like the receptor of the axle that sticks in on the frame it's much bigger than the one here so in fact there's a little bit of wheel clearance on the inside with the solace when with the flat frames it's very 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 close to the wheels i even think that could 
be a problem sometimes with the famous wheels because at least with the ones that I got with the three spokes because they sometimes have problems with like bending a bit maybe with um, with the Joe Atkinson wheels that wouldn't happen because they have more spokes but the truth is that it didn't happen to me uh, what I was talking about is these spaces you can see it here you know these ones also stick a lot so basically if I would compare the tree look at this the ground controls they are thick from the bottom and they have these uh, I will call it wheel receptors thick meaning that they are somehow the ones that create more space if you if you're going to talk about the the strategy used by by solar these are the ones that give you less soul space even if i don't think that makes a huge difference these ones and the solas give you about the same space for soul these ones slide very good for for soul tricks at least with me i didn't get i didn't add the same amount of friction I, Again, I don't know how to justify why. Maybe with time, they're gonna better, they gonna get a bit slower. I don't know. I really don't know. What I do know is where I struggle with these, at least at first or at least until now, is the Royal Tricks. And I'm not even going to talk about the Torque Tricks. But once again, that is me. You look at Antoni Potier skating and some of the guys like Val Valentin, also the guy from Belgium, that skates with these and they seem to have no struggle at all with that so yeah having a, a taller block it makes you need to bend your foot more and i actually like it when you do it it looks very good but until you do it there's like a learning curve that some of us don't want to go through because it, it makes it a bit harder but also, with time, this groove will, be, will get a little bit deeper. And with the groove getting deeper, I don't think that will be a problem. Now, in terms of getting wheel bite, let me tell you, I'm skating 64 millimeter wheels. And these are supposed to skate with 65s. It's not really a big of a difference with one millimeter. But I didn't felt I was getting wheel bite anytime. Like, the way that the block is made is very square. And this point here, like... I didn't go wheel bite one single time. I didn't went too technical, but I also didn't got wheel bite. That's it. So with 64s, yeah. Now, of course, if you're gonna be doing top sides with these, you, you know that you're gonna to need to do them flat, right? It's the flat frame, so you need them real flat. Because with such a tall frame, of course, you're gonna very easily be rolling if you don't get like real top side. Um, when I first skated them, I actually, thought if I would skate them with the rollerblade solo frames would be amazing because these would be attached to the boot and then the sole plate would be on top of the boot making them feel a little bit lower but the truth is they didn't felt as good with the rollerblades now the second skates that I skated them with they were the gods the gods boot and with these yeah the sole plate is huge and with with this soap plate on these, man, I was doing back backslides on the coping like way more consistently than I do with other skates. The thing is, with other skates, because you don't need to bend as much, very easily you get stuck. Now on these ones, you really need to bend, but once it locks, it stays. Either slides out or it stays. But if if you have like a a wide plate with a deep groove and if you get used to it it's very good for consistent backslides not the easiest but once you learn them they're good for torques i was not able to do them and yeah i might need more time with these i, I might need more time with these i need to get deeper groove or i might even do it the whole school way which is just get like a, a drill and just make something or i i get the dremel and and make the whole thing faster the truth is if i would be skating ledges or something like that it would be a lot faster to get a deeper groove but i haven't really been skating ledges i skate mainly coping or all that so that is it now something that i would like to see on these that all the other aluminum frames have that option and these don't is having different blocks example if you buy this which is the ground control HD, it comes stock with two different blocks. 
Now, if you buy the solas, these are in fact 3D printed blocks, but I also have the 3D printed alumide. You can also buy the aluminum ones, which I really like. That's, that's the thing for me. It's like, if I'm gonna be using an aluminum frame, I'm gonna go full metal. So I really like, if I'm skating coping, I really like the feeling of having an aluminum block. So for me, it really makes sense. Now, for the flats, this is the only one till now, but I'm pretty sure you can just 3D print one. That's, that could actually be something cool for me to do here. I could actually just 3D print um, one with a different groove, like if it's like a used groove or something like that. Or yeah, maybe an aluminum one would be a good option. Other than that, there's not a lot more to be said, man. I, I like, I really like the construction. From all of these frames, it feels the most solid. Light, strong. Until now, the, the most responsive, I would say, probably. And they are unique with the raised deal and all that. I, I really like them. If I'm going to be skating them all the time, no, I don't think this is the frame for me to skate all the time. If I would skate a ball more often, which I would love to, I would probably skate them a bit more. But even at skating a ball, I would either need to make adjustments of on my boot or I would prefer to, to skate a whole flat frame. But at the end of the day, it's all about the way that you like your skates to feel. And once I get used to these, they really felt good. So yeah, this is my opinions on the low usage that I've, gave, I've given until now to the flat frame. I, I'll be skating them more, I'll be skating them more. As I said, not my main frame, at least for now, but I'll, I'll be skating them more. If you should get them 100%, if you wanna try um, an aluminum frame that slides good, and it's, it's also not the most expensive, and for what it is, like, you pay 129 for these and yeah you have it available in two different colorways you can buy it in the, the aluminum rock aluminum raw color or you can buy it all black and you should know that this is actually the second version of this frame the first one was an eye low frame having like 80 millimeters in the front and back and 72 in the middle and on this one because it has the name flat. It's not a high-low frame anymore. It's like a real flat frame. And yeah, that is it. I like it. Anthony Poitier, you did an amazing job with this frame. And I really like the logo. Now, I know that FR is about to release a, an aggressive skate. It does have this logo. Now, the question is, is it going to come stock with this frame? I don't know but that's something that we are going to be here seeing. Once the skate is available, I'll buy it, I'll test it, and I will let you know how it works. For now, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You can always press on that bell and get notifications. And if you really like this type of content, you can also click on that join button and become a member, and it's a different way to support this channel. Other than that, well, you can like this video if you really liked it. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but let me know what you didn't like about this video. And like I always say, more important than anything else, just don't ever forget why we all started skating. And that, that is because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon. You got a little longer, so